What's going on YouTube? It is Greg Lock Fitness here. Today's video is going to consist of five different topics. First of all, we've got my new Gorilla Pod. Second, Spartan Race. Third, Motivation. Fourth, my new Lex Fitness Bottoms. And number five, my Canon G7X lens. Thanks for watching this video. Prior to watching it, I'm going to thank you. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe for more. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Oh hey, so this is one of the great angles we can get with the Gorilla Pod. Here's another fantastic angle we can get with the Gorilla Pod. Okay, Mom. I'll see you. Love you. Bye bye. Oh hey, didn't didn't remember putting you in my wardrobe. Hmm. So in all seriousness, this is the Gorilla Pod. I'm extremely happy with my purchase. I bought it for about 12 pounds, something like that. It's only the small pod. Um, I'll probably link it in the description if you're interested in getting it. As many of you may know or may not know, I use the Canon G7X, so it just screws onto the bottom of the camera. And as you can see, you can set it to anywhere you want. So it'll be very handy when in the gym training, like using it on bars and all sorts. So yeah, it's extremely good enough, I thought it would be a great addition. So moving on to the next topic, which is the Canon G7X. There is a little problem I've had with it actually, a little problem. So the lens wasn't opening properly. If you've seen the Canon G7X, you'll see the screen has like, uh, the lens, sorry, the lens cover is three blades on the top, three blades on the bottom. So I couldn't, it would, like I would turn the camera off and it would just, shut halfway. So what I had to do, and I probably shouldn't be saying this as it's voided my warranty, um, my warranty on the camera apparently, but they can't really tell that I took the lens off and fixed it myself, can they? I mean, unless they, they watch this video, which I doubt they will be, uh, if it breaks in the future that is anyway. As I do have two years warranty on it, I think I've had it for about a year right now. So yeah, it wasn't showing properly, so all I had to do was open the lens pull the lens cover off and there's like two different springs and it literally I was actually doing it next to someone at the time and I think the saw how agitated I was getting so I thought oh wait I'll let them go to sleep and then I'll continue with the process so they fell asleep and I was doing it on the bed two little springs I should have been doing it at a desk and you had to hook like a piece of metal over the spring and oh the hands were shaking, everything. If I had, had like a toothpick or something like that, it would have been extremely easier. But I didn't have that, so yeah, I just had to battle through it and put the blades back on. It's like three on the top, three on the bottom. So if you can imagine a layer of three, and then you have to organize it in the way that they actually shut as well. Very, very confusing, but at least I know how to fix it for next time. I will just use a toothpick instead. So. Next thing, next topic, third topic, we're going on to the Spartan race. So if any of you know the obstacle course races that you can enter, you've probably heard of Tough Mudder, um, all different ones like that. Tough Mudder is the more expensive one, I, I think, of all of the ones that I'm aware of so far. So I did the Spartan race, I did it with Dan and Julie from university. I'm not sure if you've seen Julie yet, I doubt you have, unless you follow me on Instagram, but. Dan's been in the videos as you know. So yeah, we all completed the race. They completed it like 15 minutes faster than myself as I had to walk and then run and then walk and then run. As for some reason I did it in Nike free run twos, which with my foot type or maybe with everyone's foot type, um, really make my Achilles tendon just below the car flare up really, really bad. So I had to keep walking and which is, it was pretty depressing to be honest. As my, um, Cardiovascularly, I wasn't really getting out of breath or knackered. I'm not saying I wasn't out of breath at all. Obviously, it was a five kilometers race. Actually, it was seven kilometers, 5K plus it was listed as, but it's seven kilometers with obstacles as well. I was getting out of breath, but that's nothing that I can't battle through. Um, but the pain caused like constant pins and needles in my foot. So if any of you are runners out there, you've got any tips on like other things that can help. I obviously am changing footwear. I'll be doing the next Spartan race, which I'm about to mention in trail shoes, Adidas ones. So the next Spartan race coming up, I've already entered that again with Dan and Julie. It's on the 28th 
of May next month, yeah. So it's like 15 days after body power, something like that. So it'll be fun to do as I'm trying to really be in good condition for body power, you know, you don't want to be walking around with like, no gains. I mean, the biceps have got no gains, so I'm hiding them. I'm just kidding. But yeah, 28th of May is the next Spartan race, which is, let me try and remember, it's like 15 kilometers plus, so I'm predicting it'll be maybe uh, up to two kilometers more, so say 17 kilometers is as much as it could be. And then on October the 1st, I believe, is the Beast, which basically Reebok Spartan race, do like, um, there's three different ones, you've got a sprint, and I forgot the name of the next one, and then you've got the Beast. So, I will be doing the one in May and the one in October, so I've got all the, the try done. I will show you the medal, but I've left it with my mum and dad in their house, just so they can like, remember how beast I am as a son, that I complete the Spartan race by walking and running it. But yeah, right. That's Spartan Race really a topic. Um, yeah, we'll be doing more running and like more body weight exercises, all sorts and like eating a cleaner diet. As you can see over here, we have got two bananas here for a pre-workout meal. So at this point in the video, I'll probably be putting some shoulder activity on, shoulder press um, raises and stuff that I recorded in the gym the other day, just and some pull-ups, just testing out the Canon. The, um, Canon G7X with the Gorilla Pod. So yeah, if I've gone into the bottom right hand corner of the screen, it's all right because you can't see my small arms. So yeah, don't know why I went into a uh, farmer's accent there. Moving on. Fourth topic we're gonna speak about are my new gym bottoms. So I've bought these, giving you a little show, standing on the chair. Hopefully you can see them properly. So they are the Desire Fit Fashion uh, Performance Leggings. Maybe they're leggings, maybe they're Megans, maybe they're everything. Who knows? But they're extremely good, extremely tight, which I like, especially when squatting. It's extremely tight, that's what I like. But yeah, so when squatting, if I keep saying but yeah, I'm just gonna go hit myself in the head, in the forehead. But I'm not one of these vloggers that's going to keep cutting it up at the moment, so I'm just speaking to the camera really, getting the the video out. One more shot of these bad boys. Because <laughs> you saw them brilliant, great, great shot of them there. They are the gun camo colour. I did want the black ones and I have actually messaged Lex on Snapchat and he said um, the black ones are coming back in stock around summer. Summer's coming. As soon as they're in stock, I will be buying those. They're extremely nice. Um, you see like there's netting on them. I'll probably put the link in the description for those as well. Not sponsored. Nothing like that. Just showing you. Perfection. Okay, the last topic I want to talk about and probably the main topic that I'll probably spend the least amount of time on is motivation. So this is like a problem a lot of people are starting to face as they're getting as we are getting into summer. Like we're all motivated in winter to train hard or to bulk, cheat meals, all that. We're all motivated to make the videos then. But as we get to summer other things start happening, like the Spartan Race and um, as an example for myself. University, work, everything, it, it sometimes can get a bit too much. So we have to prioritise things and that will help with your motivation. So a lot of people have been telling me that they are demotivated and I've been demotivated myself as you can see the lack of videos, all sorts like that. So what I want to say is prioritise what you're going to do. So I will put time aside in my day to make the video, to go and train. I'm training, why can't I just bring my camera along, set it up on the pod, make the video. Like this video now, it takes two seconds. You know, I've even made it funny at the start. And that's something that you'll be seeing much, much more of. I think if you get yourself something like a gorilla pod, you are opening, like you're widening your spectrum of devices to make great videos. Motivation, it's like, uh, you know, intrinsic, extrinsic, all these internal, internal, all these motivation um, types that we can talk about. But you don't want to overcomplicate something. So motivation I'm going to put down is to prioritising things. You will be motivated 
if you want a good physique, you will already have motivation. You'll already have that want inside you, but it's just getting there and doing it. I don't like all this um, complicating. I prefer to just say I've got an essay to do. I've done all my essays now, all university work's completed, which was another thing that, the way I do it, I like to leave it to like the last second and then do it. But if I prioritised it, which would increase my motivation to do it more, it would already be done and there would be no stresses and there would be more content, more videos, better diet, all sorts. So, an example, if I did have an essay to complete now, I'll prioritise it for myself to complete it right now, right after this video. And that would be my motivation. I would use prioritising things as a motivation. Other people will like, um, say, a physique. They want a really good physique, so how they going to do it, they want a diet, the, the need to train hard, but they're not at the top of their priorities, so they're never going to get their their physique that they want, therefore they've got to prioritise their diet and their training, therefore they will get the physique that they want. That's really what I want to speak out when motivation's concerned. Like I said, I don't want to overcomplicate the topic. I see it as very simple. It's like with everything, really. As soon as you start overcomplicating it, that's when you're less likely to be motivated. Like get a piece of paper out, literally prioritise your life on a piece of paper. What's more important? And then question each one of them, is it that important though? Is uh, watching EastEnders every night more important than an hour of prepping food for the next day? Like question yourself and then put in a list, one to ten, what's more important? There you go, you got it. Thanks a lot for watching guys. More videos coming soon, definitely. It has been Greg Lock Fitness. Body player is around the corner now, which I'm extremely excited about. Use your number seven and use your Prada Luna Rossa Extreme. What did I just say? I don't know.